Okay. I am trying to do this. I was supposed to do it earlier, except the little problem I ran into, I had the voice. And Edison likes to talk when I'm doing videos. Okay. It's that time for me to can whatever I have to, to can. When it comes to dry food, so, look, here's a little problem I ran into. Okay, well, it's not little. I just noticed I have not canned anything since 2015. Okay. Oh, this I have to kind of try to. But 2015, see this? Okay, so all these came from 2015. I don't know. I don't know if you can your, your rice like this. 2015, I did 600 pounds of rice. And I do it in the oven. And I thought I did some um, years after that, but I guess not. Because I was going to, through my food storage and I know it's getting, it's getting, it's getting colder. So that's when I usually can, okay? But these are canned in the, and they, they last for five years. So I hate this part. You hear that? That's the seal. Okay, the rice kind of smell, just a little bit change of smell, and it does change the taste also, but it's not so bad. We've been eating, we've been eating this rice. What I did, here's a trick, so you don't, I'm sorry, the cam, the thing won't turn the other way, I don't know why, but, um, yeah, so what I do is I pour this in this, in this canister right here, so you, so you see, look how packed these are, okay, I have to do this for you too, also. So they're pretty packed. So this is what I do. And I'm hoping I can can as many pounds like that. Because if you have not noticed, but the food prices have changed big time. Some have um, gone up half price of what the original price. Like for an example, um, chicken chicken thighs at costco was 99 cents a pound before covid now it's a dollar 49 so um we might not have shortage of food which would be good if we don't have a shortage of food but we um inflation and that's one of my my worries is inflation Shortage of food inflation is the same thing to me because, um, yeah, because we have one income. I don't know about your family, but my family, we only have one income. Okay, so Eddie feeds. Is Eddie working? I stay home with the boys because our schedule, if I go to work, our schedule will never work out. And we all know, because of my situation, we cannot afford to leave the boys home by themselves. Because even though they're adults, there's a law that that they can, the state can come and take them. So, um, yeah. So this isn't the old rice. And then I add the new rice to it. So I just mix it up figure out how to open this. Usually I am able to, but uh, this is the thing that you just do. Right. So how do, how do I do this? How do I come up with the amount of rice I need? It's just that when it's um I'm 
It's just that when um, I just keep buying bags of rice and then I can them. But looks like I did not can. I must have been really busy the last few years. Well, I know 2018 was a bad year. But I'll show you how to can the rice. Um, of course, you're going to do it. You're going to do rice. We eat a lot of rice. Rice is good. It's really good for food stores. And we buy this kind. We like this kind. This is the cow roast rice. And I think most Polynesians eat this. I like the way it's compact. So, and we bought this from, um, you're looking for this, this canister right here? I don't know how many quarts, but bought this from Walmart a few years ago. And I think they weren't, they weren't even $20. They're, they have two sizes. I like this size better because the cup can fit in the nether that I use for the rice. And then I also have this bucket. See, this is this is how we do it here. See this five-gallon bucket right here. Eddie worked for for Crema Weaver, and he would bring up home these buckets, and this is what we use. It's kind of dusty outside. It's clean inside, but I don't know why. I'll just wipe it. Yeah. So. I put some on the bottom. And this is what we got that. Because we, I think we only have probably 300 left. 300 pounds left. It's not a lot. It's not like when we, um, when we canned in 2000. 2000, we did almost a thousand pound of rice. Well, the chickens in Samoa are well stayed right now. We sent all that rice to Samoa. But I don't know if you can hear that when I open it. See, it's airtight. But I'll show you how to, and this is how I use it. It's still good. There's no, um, when you're cooking it, it doesn't change at all you might smell the smell but hey it's edible my, my family eats it but i told eddie we need to eat it all because it's only supposed to last in those for five years so when you're if you're gonna do it if you're gonna can using mason jars this is half gallon you need i like the wide mouth but if not you can get the smaller one but the wide mouth um once and then you need this so you need these this and rice if you're gonna can them. and I'm probably gonna can at the end of this month or the beginning of of uh, November so yeah this is safe way I think I like the this, because it's rotated faster than the other one. The, the, the number 10 cans, you can rotate it. And you can, it will stay in there for for 10 years. I mean, 30 years. That's what it says. But, um, I don't know. See, I just mix it. So I don't mix the rice. that you're rotating your food storage I know it's so important that's one thing that's important um, it's rotating your food storage so when I buy the when I do this I had Eddie to bring up all the ones all the rice so 
It's really good. This is what we eat. So we don't waste it. So make sure if you if you did rice like this, make sure you're eating it five years. And then if you're if you're doing if you're trying it out, do it like the first year, get one out and try it. And then do the second. That's how I did it. See if it will last that five years that says that. And yeah. So I'm gonna leave these so i'm gonna prep this okay there was a boo-boo that was done i am not happy with what i did though okay so we i make our own chocolate the kids love it um so i have pan this wait is this chocolate Oh no, this is, um, what is this one? Oh, okay, I see what this is. This is the, um, cake mix that I can. But be I have a, a food saver that I dry can some of the stuff. So I did this little food saver, we bought it like, about 20 years ago it's the same one that we've used but here's what my problem is right here okay I do not know what happened to this bottle but do you see this I thought these were outside but these are inside and I now have to dump this this is cornstarch dang it and cornstarch they don't expired not very happy with this one. I don't know if it was the bottle itself. Wait, maybe it is outside. This outside is okay. Because I can just clean it. But I don't know why it would be dirty outside. Oh, it's, it looks like it's outside. I thought it was inside the bottle. Yeah, because cornstarch doesn't expire as long as it's dried. Cornstarch. What's the other one? Cornstarch, salt, sugar, you can, as long as they're dry, they're good. And soy sauce, I forgot what the other one is. Baking soda? Uh, mine, I use stuff that says expired already, but it doesn't, yeah, no, I think it's inside. I do not know what happened here. If the bottle was wet when I put it in, dang it. Here, let me see. See if this is nope, it doesn't smell it's dry. Let's see, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna use it for our food. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but I don't know what that is. So I gotta make sure, but um, yeah, and then I also can these. I have not tried these, these were something that I wanted to see if they would last so I only can I think two or three of these these are those um potato casserole the ones that come in the in the um in the box so I repackage them in here using the 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 food saver that was called yeah the food saver so that's the video that I wanted to do tonight and share with you some of the things that I have learned through the years. But when you do this, make sure that it's dry inside. Yeah, the, the bottles do get dirty, but you can wash them. I'm just going to wash them. And then when I, so I'm, that's what I'm doing. The goal is um, canned rice. And I hopefully, I mean, hopefully I can can rice every year from now on instead of just doing 2015. That's just a long time ago. I was like, oh my gosh. So I, yeah. So that's how you do it. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Talk to you later.